The Sub-Saharan African region contains 46 of the 54 countries on the African continent. With a population of 1 billion, it accounts for 14% of the total number of people on Earth. This number is expected to rise to 2 billion by 2050. Over the last decade, great changes have been taking place in the majority of countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. As a result, economic growth has rebounded over the last 10 years to average over 5.5% per annum. In fact, growth was so robust in 2009 that the continent did not follow the rest of the world into recession. While the rest of the world experienced a 3.8% decrease in visitor numbers, Sub-Saharan Africa welcomed 30.7 million visitors, an increase of 4.4%. Going forward, the IMF estimates that in 2016, six of the world's top 10 fastest growing economies will be in Sub-Saharan Africa. Economic and political governance has improved, and most countries now have capitalistic economic models managed by competent technocrats. These changes have resulted in lower interest rates, lower inflation, and lower debt levels. The IMF predicts that in 2050, Sub-Saharan Africa's income per capita could be 25% higher than it is right now given current growth rates. By the year 2100, it could be up to 55% higher. With this stability, access to financial services is becoming more widely available. Mobile technology is playing a more central role in Sub-Saharan Africa by addressing a range of socio-economic challenges, particularly digital and financial inclusion, and enabling access to vital services such as education and healthcare. This, in turn, has allowed the private sector to expand and attract foreign direct investment. Over the last 12 months alone, global firms such as MasterCard, Prudential Financial, Norfund, P&G, Coca-Cola and Nestle have committed to multi-billion dollar investments into the region. In many countries, natural resources are an important economic ingredient. As GDP per capita rises, and in many countries it has doubled over the last 10 years, the emergence of a middle class with disposable income is transforming Africa's capital cities. In Sub-Saharan Africa, there are already as many cities with populations of over 1 million as there are in Europe. And it is estimated that by 2050, 60% of Sub-Saharan Africans will live in cities. Meanwhile, the game-changing development of mobile telephony and increasing access to the Internet means that Africans are becoming increasingly aspirational and consumption-orientated. The Afro-optimists are transforming the economic landscape. Informed and educated young adults have become catalysts and influences within their families and communities. Empowered by technology, they seek out brands that provide status, enablement and belonging. Not every one of its 46 countries is perfect, but the change is obvious and bodes well for future development. The African economic tsunami has risen and there is a strong and unstoppable tide at its back.